guys ever notice how all the movies that are really worth watching always have characters with mustaches? Mustaches? <laughs> yeah, I, I believe that a mustache makes the man. There's an old Italian proverb that I believe really holds true. It's a, a man without a mustache is as one dead. <laughs> Just one dead. <laughs> well, you know, mustaches are. I really like them. <laughs> uh oh, here comes the little detective. I wonder what she'll ask us this time. I'm looking for hard questions to stump you. It's my job. <laughs> There's some bugs on a leaf. How many bugs are on the leaf? Um, some. <laughs> that was a good try, little detective. You know, women are generally the strongest characters in movies, and they do not usually have mustaches. <laughs> well, the women who do have mustaches, they really stand out from the rest. <laughs> All those frogs. Wow. wow. Look how many there are. Oh, and there are more over there. Like a little cave. Like yeah, you know yeah. Actually, I think that one could have been improved with a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I have the hardest question in the world. There's a frog that looks back in a pond. If there's one frog on each lily pad, there'll be a frog without a lily pad. If there's two frogs on each lily pad, there'll be a lily pad without a frog. How many frogs are in the pond? Wow, we! Yeah, wow. Is that even possible? Yeah, it's possible. I've done problems like this before. You have to use algebra. Well, then we better be able to figure it out. Right, let's solve it. What was the original question again? I think it was if there are two frogs on each lily pad. One, one oh, frog. right, right. If there are one frog on each lily pad, there will be a frog without a pad. And if there are two frogs on each pad, So first we know that there has to be one less lily pad than there are frogs. Because when each lily pad has one frog on it, there is an extra frog. So the number of lily pads, P, is equal to the number of frogs, F, minus 1. Right, and we also know when there are two frogs per pad, there will be an empty extra lily pad. So the number of frogs, F, will be equal to two frogs per pad and an extra lily pad. This pad can be represented by the absence of the two frogs that would otherwise be on it or minus two. So now we have two different equations with two different variables, f and p. So we can substitute p, which is f minus one, from our first equation into our second equation, like this. Now just solve for f. f equals two f minus two minus two, or f equals two f minus four. So now we can just add four to both sides and subtract f from both sides to get a positive answer four equals f. So that means there are four frogs in the pond. And if there are four frogs, and f minus one equals number of pads, then there has to be three lily pads. I didn't quite follow that. Well, look at this. See if there are three in the pads. And there are two frogs on each pad, too. And there will be an extra pad. But if there is just one frog on each pad, then there will be a frog in that pad. Oh, <laughs> well, little detective, that was a hard one. But we have the answer. There are four frogs and three lily pads in the pond. It's a good logical question, actually. And I have proven my point. The most important characters in every movie always have mustache. <laughs> You'll make it onto the math before you know it with problems like that. Where in the world did you get that question anyway? <laughs>